the World Happiness Survey. What are the results? Who are the winners? Who are the losers? Number five, the Netherlands, my country. Uh, number four, we have Iceland. Number three, we have Switzerland. Number two, Denmark. And I'm gonna give you an educated guess who is number one. Of course, it is the United States. No, it's Finland. Congratulations, Finland. And in the top 10 are only European countries, except for one country, which is, of course, the United... No, it is New Zealand. Congratulations, Elizabeth Arden, who is amazing. Okay, so, uh, okay, where is the United States of America? Uh, congratulations, though. Uh, the numbers actually got better. Uh, the United States went from spot number 19 to spot number 14 in this uh, poll by the United Nations in Gallup. Okay, so uh, because the poll is done over a year, uh, the global pandemic, of course, uh, caused a disaster in the life satisfaction and the happiness satisfaction uh, of many people. And so what you see is that when the quarantine started to happen in March, uh, peaking in April were our feelings of worry and sadness uh, and anxiety and things like that. And so uh, that was a real problem. But what we also found is that uh, as we started peaking in April, we started to feel better and better. And by the time July came around, we were pretty much back to where we were. And it is fair to say over a year that another contributing factor where the, why the numbers did not plummet is because though we experienced some more negative emotions, like the ones that I mentioned, anxiety, sadness, fear, worry, things like that, um, we actually didn't decrease in positive emotions. So it is a little bit maybe what you focus on, but in reality, uh, our positive emotions didn't per se go away in this process. Um, but there, of course, have been moments of job loss, of quarantine, and, but what we see is that we're hugely resilient. What's not surprising that we kind of bounced out of that, and the reasons why that is, uh, in terms of what determines how happy is going to be, is only about 10% a factor is the life circumstances that we're in. Uh, it's actually mostly genetics that we're facing, uh, what we're getting from our mom and our dads in terms of what determines what our happiness set point is. Um, but also uh, there is at least 40% that is within our own control. Knowing how to think, knowing how to use our emotions, knowing how our brain works and and if you don't have you've never learned how to do that is by taking personal uh, development reading books or taking an nlp training preferably with me of course uh, you can still come to mexico we have a couple of seats left i think two um um, join me on Bali. We have an Amsterdam training in May as well. Uh, join us in LA. Uh, and there's an online uh, training in Joshua Tree. And so uh, hit me up uh, in a DM or private message or send us an email at globalnlpinfo at globalnlptraining.com. So what else can I say about why is it? Uh, so uh, the Bernie Saunders lovers uh, out here may be saying, well, these countries are all socialists. Actually, that's not true. Uh, you need to separate what is politically considered socialist. And though Bernie Sanders would like to say that the top 10 are all socialist politically countries, and that is not true. Um, no, but there is a real socialist or social structure within our, because I'm Dutch, uh, governments, within the way that we handle society and our government handles society. So we have great health care for everyone, and that's equalized whether you're rich or poor. Uh, we have great schooling that's also equalized whether you're rich or, or poor. Um, there is the, yes, there are richer people and there are, I wouldn't say poor people per se, but we have one huge middle class. So the disparity between rich and poor is not as big. And so education and healthcare, clean food supplies, clean water supplies, things like safety on the street is for everyone. They, those are things that are basic human rights and, and not to be 
thrown into jail it's because of your color or be or to be set back just because you're a woman or to be ostracized because you are gay or be ostracized because you're transgender all those types of things are societies where there's a lot of equality they tend to kind of bump up into this 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 happiness pole and that's why the the, the winners in the top 10 are pretty stable i have to say it's always denmark and the netherlands and and finland and 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 sweden is always pretty high i believe uh, sweden was number six this year um what also really contributed to better numbers this year is that we were really faced faced with a big picture the big picture of what is important in life and i think the quarantine that started happening must have uh, contributed to a sense of well who is important to me how important is human social connection and that is biologically mentally physically really important social connection and and we were kind of faced with that but also we were looking at the big picture of our own, own life as to what's important to us and so people started to think more about things like purpose and meaning and being in service of others or somehow wanting to achieve something for the greater good to unite with others to achieve something to become better to move out of the space that we've been in over the years and we had a lot of time to think during this pandemic and that goes to show that personal development really is key right now for many people coaching is key for many people so for you as a change worker for you as a person this is the time this is the time to make that leap into what is your bigger picture and so those are the results of the world happiness survey see you around